This is Eugene Panrich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. I said Laptop Screen Doc, not Dog, just to make sure. Okay, uh, today we have a HP G61 laptop with a cracked screen, and we're going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an HP G61 laptop computer. The first thing that we want to do to avoid any damage to the computer is remove the battery, like so. And then let's take a look how to take out the screen. So this screen, there's a couple tricks involved. There's a couple tricks involved with the screen that we're going to go over. The first the thing we have to do is remove this plastic frame around the screen to get to the screen itself. And in order to do that, there's two screws that we have to get to. There's one down here and one down here. Now there's two ways to go about that. Um, we're going to do the easier way this time and the easier way is to get to these screws directly. So the tools that we're going to need are a small electronic screwdriver with a PH1 bit and a small PH0 bit, a small thin flathead screwdriver to get to those screws that we're talking about, an exacto knife exacto knife with a pointed tip, a pair of sharp metal tweezers, and some sort of prying tool. This is a custom prying tool especially for this job, but you can um, use either a guitar pick or a kitchen butter spreading knife to achieve the same effect. So the first thing that we want to do is remove those two screws that we showed you. And to do that, we have to remove the plastic covers that are hiding the screws, and that's where we use the X-Acto knife. And we take one off, and it's already stuck to the plastic frame. That's what we want to do. And next, this is the tricky part. This is where we're going to use our small class of small flathead screwdriver to reach in and to open up the screw like so. Otherwise you would have to take the whole screen assembly off the hinges and that produces more complications that we don't want to go into. So if you can get to the screw, it'll make your job a lot easier. Okay, so it's loose and we use our tweezers to remove the screw and we'll put it to the side and let's go to the other side and do the exact same thing. So first we remove, make sure the camera is focused, we remove the plastic cover that's hiding the screw like so. And what I like to do with the plastic cover is just stick it to this plastic assembly so we don't lose it. And then we use our small, make sure we're still on view, we use our small metal screw to, screwdriver to get to the screw. Alright, okay, so that's that. So that's trick number one with this laptop. Now we have the screws loosened, we want to remove the plastic frame around the screen. And the way I like to do this is use my fingertips to go on the screen side and gently start lifting up the plastic frame like so. Now listen to the snapping sounds. Once you hear the snapping sounds, that's a good sign. That means the screen is coming off. Like so. Okay. And we do the same thing on the bottom. Just go slow on this. Try not to break it. Eventually it'll come. If there are some parts that are 
harder to do you use our buying tool like so all right now for the bottom of the screen and that's where trick number two is what we have to do is there's a seam running along the back and we have to snap open this seam so we can use several of our tools we can try with uh, and screwdriver see if we can get in there no then we try with our tractor knife see if we can get there we open up a little bit and we're getting it now once we have a little bit of an opening we use our crying tool to see if we can get the rest of the job done and that part is open okay so if you look in you can see that the seam is open all right so next we open up the laptop and see if we can remove the plastic frame and we did this was a little bit easier than i expected so um, you probably spent some time with this but eventually it'll come so just take your time and know that you'll succeed in the end. All right, so now we get to the screen assembly. The screen itself is mounted on metal brackets on the sides, the screws that are in the sides, and we need to get to these screws. And as it is right now, we can't get to these screws, so we have to find a way to tilt the screen forward a little bit. And in order to do that, we remove two screws at the top one here like so and this one's loose already that's interesting one here like so someone in china didn't do their quality control but oh well. all right so now we grab with our fingernails and try to tilt the screen assembly forward a little bit once we do that, we can get to the screws at the top, but the bottom, we're still having some trouble. So usually what I do in this case is loosen the screws down here for the, where the, the brackets attach to the back of the screen, but it's kind of a hard angle. So we're going to do something else. We're going to take our pH zero bit and tilt it forward a little bit and see if we can get to the screw here and we can so so just force it just enough so that you can get to the screw and here's one screw and there's two screws on each side I'm going to switch back to the pH one bit like so and remove this screw. Now make sure you have the screen tilted back when you do this so when you loosen all the screws the screen just doesn't fall forward on you. And that might damage some components inside. Okay, next we have to get to this screw and once again we have to go at an angle. Okay, and you start out, you use some force so you don't strip it like so. This one's a little bit harder, but it's coming. Almost there. Like so. And finally, the last screw. Over here, we switch back to the pH one bit. Like so. And we finally remove all four screws. Okay, once we do that, we gently tilt the screen forward. And we see what's going on behind there. And we see that we have to remove the webcam cable. Well, actually, the whole webcam circuit board can come off. It just has adhesive on the back. And we lay the screen down. Okay, so there's, it's a cold cathode fluorescent 
lamp screen. So there's two connectors that you have to worry about. One connector up here and one connector for the bulb here. So let's remove this connector first. Like so, so you loosen up the tape. There's some tape on top. And you just pull the connector back like so. And it's released. And there's some adhesive here. You just lift it up like so. All right. Now we just have the lamp connector in here. And we just pull it out like so. And the screen is released. OK, so let's take a look at this screen. It's a 15.6 inch CCFL screen, cold cathode fluorescent screen, as compared to the 15.6 inch LED screen in the newer laptops. So the LED screen only has one connector, which is here, and the CCFL screen has two connectors, one here and one here. Now, uh, when you want to order this screen, uh, screen surgeons can provide the screen for you, or you can go online and find one yourself. And let me give you the part number that you need to look for. Let's see if we can do good. Okay, here's good focus. It's LP156WH1. So all you have to do is type in LP156WH1, and you'll have search results for that screen. Now, when you see, receive the screen, most likely it won't be the exact same part number. It will be a compatible screen. There are about five or six makers that make this exact same screen for the different laptop brands, and they all look pretty much the same and have pretty much the same specs. And one more thing to notice is that this screen has a glossy finish, as most screens are. So. Um, if you want some, if you want a matte finish, you have to specify it, but most likely you get a screen with a glossy finish. Okay, that's it. So once you get your screen, put it back in, is you reverse the procedure, put the connectors in, put it in the screen assembly, and put the webcam in, put the screws in, and snap on the plastic frame. Um, the snapping on the plastic frame is actually a lot easier than taking it out. So putting it back in takes a lot less time than taking it out. Okay, and that's it. And once again, my name is Eugene Penrith, which I'm the laptop screen doc. And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.